Let's assemble a cheer palm or sun. You could use this for a sun, but it was designed to be a cheer palm candy dome. This one was a little bit of a challenge, like how are we going to make this look like a pom pom? Here's what you need. You need paper to make the back, and then this is the base of it, and then paper for the pom-pom areas. And you can do as many layers as you want. I decided that three, and you can alternate colors. I just, I don't know, I decided to do a blue one. You can do two layers, you can do three layers. I think you need at least two layers. And I love how the glitter is gonna layer in there. Then I'm also going to use some pop dots. Then you need a candy dome. And this is part of a 3.15 inch or 80 millimeter clear plastic fillable ornament that you can find on Amazon. The link will be below the video. And you just need one for each candy dome project. And I have tons of them in my shop. You'll need a candy or whatever you're gonna put in there. You could put gift certificates, you could put money, whatever. Um, hot glue gun and tacky glue. And then I'm also going to use a pen to help curl curl the, the paper a little bit. So first let's start with how to get the candy dome onto the base. Now this is what's going to be on the back and this is how the recipient's gonna access the candy. They're gonna grab the tab, they're going to pull to access what's inside. So we need to get the candy inside the dome attached to this. That's the first order of business. So I'm gonna fill this with candy. You're gonna make sure whatever you put in there, it's flat and it's not gonna bubble up. Then I'm going to take the paper, I'm gonna put it on top and I'm gonna flip it. That's your easiest way of making sure your candy doesn't end up all over. Now this for this design, the candy dome is gonna be centered. Looks pretty centered to me, but we're never gonna take your eyes word for it. You're always gonna test. This circle is cut perfectly to go over this dome and you're gonna slide it so that the edges of both papers meet up. Then you know the dome is in the proper position. So you're gonna hold it in place, gently get that piece off. And now we're going to take the hot glue and we're gonna run a bead of hot glue around the base, making sure it is attaching to both the paper and the dome. And you wanna keep the hot glue at the bottom of the plastic. You don't want it up on top or it's not gonna look as cool. And this is just, you know, like home improvement. If you ever had to re in the bathroom or caulk around your windows, we're just sealing this together. And I don't put glue on the bottom of the dome because by the time you got hot glue around the edge, it's gonna cool off before you get it down and in place or you're gonna end up with glue smears, neither of which are ideal. So we have that on, now you're just gonna get all these little, if you have any little fairy dust pieces. Ah, now I just put my finger in it. Now we're gonna take this piece, make sure it's lined up, pick it up, flip it, and we're going to put some tacky glue, focusing mostly on the outer edges. Now you don't wanna to do too much. It doesn't take a lot of glue to attach paper to paper, and you don't want the paper to get too wet and then warp or bubble. And then I just do a little bit around the inner edge too. So that's gonna be plenty. Now what this piece of paper is going to do, it's gonna add stability to the back and it's also going to hide the hook part and the glue. And this is gonna serve as the base for the pom-pom design. And then we're just gonna press around the edges and it does buckle a little bit, as I said. So then I often just pick it up and run my fingers around the edges and give it an extra squeeze where the top of that ornament is. So now we have that part done. Now my thought is we're going to go light blue, glitter, light blue, but I wanna give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna try just using my pen and rolling just a little bit to curl those edges. You don't want it to go too far in because remember we have two more layers. So see, that gives us a little more excitement. I'm just going to put some dots of glue 
around the inside because this one doesn't really need to be lifted too much. Place that down. And just press those edges where that glue is. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two layers and then when we put them on, we're gonna shift them a little bit so we have different layers of pom-pom excitement. And then when we curl this a little bit, it's also going to give some more contrast because it's going to show a little more white from the back of the glitter paper. And to add a little bit more dimension, instead of gluing, I'm gonna put some of these small pop squares on every other one, every other like, rectangle, I don't know what we're gonna call it, every other spot. All right, now before I put it down, I wanted to have it twisted. We don't want it lined up exactly over the last one we put down, we want it twisted a little bit. See how they're slightly off center? And I'm just gonna press. And I'm gonna do the third row. This one I'm gonna roll further in because it's the last one, so we're not gonna put anything on top of it, so we can go, can make it more curly. Maybe do some more curly than others. And we can alternate down here too. Just play around with it as you're putting it together. See what, see what's working. Getting it started with the pen and then rolling further with my fingers. So now I'm gonna put the um, pop dots on this as well. Right, and again, we're gonna twist it. I'm gonna twist it a lot more because I want that glitter to show. All right, so that is how easy it is to do. You could probably add another layer, maybe put another layer of glitter if you wanna do more. These would be fun with alternating colors, but basically you would just use whatever colors the pom-poms for your cheer squad are.